As promised, I have decided to make another video, and uh, I think it's I think it's been a week or maybe even a little less. So maybe things are looking up with my my laziness. I I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But this is going to be a, a pretty simple video. I, I went to um, a grocery store, which is uh, a well-known one here called Lucky Supermarkets, which I even met some students there. I actually went there to watch um, Spider-Man Homecoming, which uh, I highly recommend. It's a good movie. It's very different than the other Spider-Man movies and relies heavily on Iron Man, but uh, that's beside the point. Uh, this video I wanted to uh, do an, another food video, you know, taste some foods I've never had before. And some of you in this video, especially those of you from Cambodia or like Indonesia or areas like that, you've already had this food, probably. But for my American friends and the people in the West, uh, these foods might be completely alien to you. You may have heard of them, but I haven't, so I'm basing it on my ignorance. So um, I'll show you. We have four different things that, that I'm going to sample and they're all plant and fruit based. So I didn't get any any mass produced kind of things. But the first one, which it cost me $1.92 for three of them, is this. And this is called a custard apple, apparently, as long as it was labeled right. Now, the question, is this ripe? I do not know. Because there's also, this one's a little bit lighter. So is it ripe when it's light or is it ripe when it's dark? I do not know, but we will find out. And I will eat one. I wonder if it tastes like custard. Maybe that's why it's called custard apples. Who knows? And then I also have this vegetable kind of thing. This is called a saum leaf, I, I think. Saum leaf. Oh, it smells like sauerkraut. Yeah, it actually smells a lot like sauerkraut or horseradish or something. But here's... Uh, let's take a little bit off. Here's, here's what it looks like up close. It's kind of a weird looking... Weird looking plant. I don't know what that's going to taste like. I may vomit. I don't know. We'll see. This one I've always been interested in trying, but this is called a salak. And this is, I guess, indigenous to Indonesia. But it looks like, it, it looks like if you would imagine a dragon's egg. What, what one of those might, might look like. I have two of them. I'm gonna eat one of them for you. I don't know if I'll eat the second one. It depends on how the first one tastes, but I'm uh, I'm game for anything. Like going this way, it's very smooth, but going this way, it gets very rough. Like it almost feels like it's gonna cut me. So that will be interesting to try. So that's called a salak, and I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. So many apologies. And the last one is called a tamarind, tamarind le leaf. It looks like this. I don't know how, how well you can see that. Let me open it a little bit and maybe you can get a better look at it. You'll get a better look when I'm cutting it because I'll, I'll cut away to cut each one so that you can see, you know, what it looks like when it opens. And 
Yeah, I'm speaking of the fruit, of course, the, the vegetable you'll already know. Let's see. As you can tell, I'm not good with saran wrap. Ah. Here's what it looks like. Kind of looks like a mimosa a little bit. You know those plants you see at the zoo that you do this and they, they move? It kind of looks like that. How does it smell? It smells like a clover. But the question, does it taste like a clover? We will find out. We will find out this and many other answers. So I'm going to cut away. And I believe I will start with the custard apple because that's that's got my curiosity going the most. So we we will see how that goes. So wish me luck. All right, so now this is the Salak. You can get a better view of it. If anything jumps out of here and bites me, we will know this was some kind of egg instead. Oh God, this one's harder than the other one. It's like <sighs> coconut hard. How do I open this? Oh. Don't worry. I'll make sure you don't see my blood on on camera. Oh. So this is what it looks like inside. Now, it kind of looks like durian a little bit, but it, it smells like cheese, like some kind of very mild cheese. So, I will put that on the plate. Get ready for consumption. Now off to the vegetable. So here's my banquet for the night. We have the, the custard apples, the salak, the tamarind leaf over here, the one that had the worm in it, and then we have the sayon leaf. So we will see how these taste. So the adventure at the counter has ended and now it is time to, to test this vegetable that I've never had in my body, I've never ingested. I have no idea if I'm allergic to it. This might kill me, I don't know. I could be deadly allergic to this. Completely lethal, who knows, but we'll try. Oh, it's really bitter and almost has a lemon taste to it. It's like a really tart lime. Really tart lime. Oh, God. Oh. It almost made my eyes water, it was so tart. Oh, well, 
So that was the tamarind leaf. Now I'll go ahead and go to the other vegetable, which is the sayom leaf. This is the one that did not have the worm in it, so this will probably be better. So I don't, I don't know how, how clear, clearly you can see that, but here goes. Well, this one isn't bad at all. This tastes like um, Brussels sprouts. Tastes exactly like a Brussels sprout. And I like Brussels sprouts, so that's a good thing. Oh, huh, so that's not bad. I'll definitely be buying that again. All right, so now comes the moment of truth. This one, the salak, yeah, salak. This snake egg looking thing. So I'm going to bite into this and see how it tastes. Remember, this is my very first time ingesting this. I could be poisoned by it. I might just vomit or nothing will happen. strange taste. It's kind of taking my brain a, a second to process what what that is. It doesn't taste bad and it has kind of a nothing taste to it but also a slight sweetness. And there's more pits inside, I found. Or seeds, I guess, if you want to call them that. Might as well eat the whole thing. Take that seed out. So here's what the seed looks like. And then eat the rest of this. Hmm. Well, it's not bad, but it's not something I would crave. It's not like I'd go out and say I really could go for some Salak right now. It's just kind of something you can eat. I don't know why they sell so many, but it was very cheap because I got two for only 87 cents. So we'll see. Now the custard apple. This is the one I'm most interested in because it says custard, which implies that this is going to be sweet. It implies that this is going to be like custard. I'm using a spoon because I don't know what else to use. Ugh. So here's my My bit of custard apple. All right, here goes. I don't know, maybe I did it wrong or something.
Well, that's kind of disappointing. It tastes like nothing. It tastes like food, kind of. If I go deeper in. Yeah, so custard apples taste like nothing. It doesn't, it's not sweet, it's not sour, it's, it's, it's kind of like an avocado is a fruit that's not sweet whatsoever. This might be super nutritious, but I, I don't, no, I don't know what's in a custard apple. I'll probably be looking this up to find out why people eat these. Because they had quite a few of them at the store, so I figured they're popular, but I don't know why. So, well, that was disappointing. This one, not so much. I think I actually enjoyed the vegetables more than the fruit, but there you go. There's my, my video on these weird fruits. And if I see other weird fruits, which I most likely will, because I always see fruits and vegetables that are completely alien to me. If I, if I see those, I will make more videos just so you can see me test them so that maybe you don't have to later. All right, so I will talk to you in a week or so. I sort of promise. All right.